Good day, Zola. How are you today? Good. <laughs> oh, good. On a scale of one to ten, how good are you? Um, just at the top of one million in a hundred. Oh, that's awesome. What is an animal that we've never drawn um, yet? An animal stacker. An animal stacker? Mm-hmm. Yep. What's what should we? What animal should we have on the bottom of the stack? A llama. There you go. Let's start right here. What? Yeah. Up here, because his head is so tall. We're going to do a little round eye. This is going to be our llama eyeball. Yeah, super good, Zoli. Okay. Now we got to draw kind of his nose. And we're going to keep part of it open because we're going to do the fluff around his nose after. <laughs> okay. Ready? So, so kind of out from the eye, we're gonna kind of we're gonna kind of come down and around and back. Wait, starting right here. Yeah. So this is gonna be his kind of forehead and then down to his nose and back. Okay. Now let's do his little nose. So we're gonna looks do. Like a dog. Looks kind of like a dog, eh? Right at the end here is gonna be a loop, yeah. and then that's gonna go down. Okay. And then maybe we'll have the bottom of a smile come up here. <laughs> Just have it kind of poke up wherever. Yep, yeah, little smile. Awesome. Okay, now let's draw his fluff. <laughs> <laughs> draw his fluff. And his fluff is going to kind of go all the way around his face. <laughs> So what's, what's all over the llama's body? Is it fur? Is it fluff? Is it wool? It's wool. Wool. Okay, so let's draw a little fluff right up here on his head. Right here? Yeah. Yep. And we're going to do his little ear coming up. And, it, and then we're going to draw... Horn. Yeah, it does kind of look like a horn. Let's draw that, a line in the middle. And then a little line coming down to the side. Now let's draw his let's draw his fluff all the way around his head. So we can do it's almost, almost like a cloud. Let's do his other ear. Yep, and then you can draw a little a little inside of the ear somewhere in there too. Totally awesome. Now Llamas have really long necks. So let's draw almost like a straight line, but of a loopy straight line all the way right down. Here, like from this. Yeah, somewhere in there. Yep. You got it. We're gonna go and, and we gotta leave a little bit of room at the bottom for his feet. Yep. Love it. Zoes, that looks good. Okay. And now let's do the other one on the other side. All the way down, straight, straight, straight but not all the way. There? Yeah, I'd say. Now, we're gonna draw his body. This side comes down, and we're gonna angle it in a bit, like that. Not too far, because then we're gonna do his leg. Yep, so then his leg comes in, or her leg, kind of a little fluff down to there, on both sides, this side too. And then we're going to go straight down into a little hoof. A hoof. That's a good word. Hoof. <laughs> I like it. And now we can even do a line. I'm going to do a line. Hurt. 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 <laughs> and let's do his, let's do the llama's other leg on the other side. Kind of the same. Hurt. 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 That's when you know you're done the hoof. Okay, now we're gonna do the flufferson uh, at the bottom. Big fluffs down there. Tummy. Yep, that's the tummy. You're very fluffy. Oh man. And if I was that close to Petalama, I would probably hop right on its back and say, and go for a little nap while he strolled me around the meadow. I would keep one. 
Yeah. You probably put it in your back pocket. Save it, <laughs> save it for later. I don't know. <laughs> oh. Okay, back leg. So the same fluffy kind of coming down. And then at the top here, that's going to come down. Right here? Yep. And then we're going to kind of come down there as well. And there we go. What a funny looking llama, eh? Yeah. Totally. Ow. How many feet does he have? One, two, three. Needs one more foot. Right in the back. Let's have that. Draw one more little leg coming up. Boom. Now, what animal are you in that outfit? A cheetah. Yeah. Let's do a cheetah on the llama's back. Okay. <laughs> so maybe up here, we're going to do the cheetah's back. So watch, I'm going to make kind of a goofy looking cheetah and he's going to be facing the other way. So watch this. We're going to start kind of at his neck here. Here? Yep. And we're going to go, we're going to go straight across and then up to his ear. Yep. And then across to his other ear and then down. That's going to be his head and his neck. And then we're going to do his feet. And his feet are going to be kind of sunken into the llama's fluffy wool. So let's do, let's do like that. And we're going to do like a little bit of fluff there. And then his foot to back up. And then his other foot, oh, we're going to do is kind of his tummy back to his back, fo back foot. So let's do the same and his back foot back there. You got it. And I'm going to do my little fluff there. And now that I've got that part, I can do the back of the llama. So the neck, I'm going to carry that on down here, do some fluff. But let's put the tail down a little bit farther down. So watch here, just a little, just a little fluffy cloud of a tail. Awesome. Okay, so our cheetah, let's give him, let's give our cheetah big googly eyes. And now I'm just gonna, you, yep, you got your eyes, and I'm just gonna do really simple eyes on this guy. Something cool about a cheetah is these cats have a nose, little triangle nose, and then there's usually a line going up from the nose up to the eye. So we're going to do a little line up to that side and a oh, little yeah. line up to that side. A lot of cats, they'll have color up here, but around their nose and mouth, it's, it's, it's a different color. So watch this. I'm going to just go like this and almost give him a little space around his mouth. Okay. Now I'm going to go just a nice, happy little smile. What a funny cheetah. And how many whiskers do, does a normal cat have on one side? Three. Three. Probably pretty close. Okay. So also check this out. We only have his front, his, his feet closest to us. So let's put a foot behind. I'm going to put a foot behind on that side and a foot behind on this side. Yep. And let's do his tail. Kind of coming around like this, around the llama. Yeah, make it fun and loopy. Put it wherever you want it. And now the spots. Spots on the tail. So put those all the way up the tail. So good. There can be small spots. They can be big spots. I'm going to do a couple big spots on the back of the cheetah. All the way up the back. Black. And a little bit on the forehead. They also have kind of white on their tummies. I'm gonna do a little tummy line underneath here, and it goes up there. Okay, now I'm thinking 
Let's do a cute little bunny with a decent size head, fairly big head. <laughs> so let's do first the tufts. One, two, three. I always like tufts of hair. Bunny? Yeah, so right there. We need room for the head. Um, so we're going to draw the head down <laughs> here. Is that a bird or a bunny? This is going to be a bunny. Let's see. <laughs> I'm going to have one ear going out this way and one ear going out this way because we want to get another animal on the top. So there's got to be room. So let's, let's draw some big ears out each way and a little bit inside the ears is always fun. Oh, I like that. So now Let's draw our bunny kind of at the bottom middle. We're gonna draw a little triangle nose. I forgot that lots of rabbits have big teeth, which is kind of fun because they like those carrots. And I like what you did with that space around his nose like that. And now let's do two eyes on the rabbit. I'm gonna do one over here and one over here, just like that. Oh, I like, oh man, so it looks so good. I like his little eyes shut and his little cheeks. Okay, so this, <laughs> this is cute. Wow, thanks bud. Um, so now we've got to have him standing on top of, let's have him standing up like this on top of the, so I'm gonna draw a little hand over here kind of sticking out like that, and a couple claws. Mm, I'm doing on this side. Yeah, and another one on that side. Just like that. Well, I'm gonna draw my other side holding a carrot. Yep, oh, good one. Rabbits love carrots, so yeah. Pop a carrot in there if you want. I'm gonna do his little tummy. And then we're gonna draw the side of his body there, and we're gonna draw. I like that. That is good. He's holding a little carrot. He's having a little healthy snack. And now I'm gonna draw, watch this, I'm gonna draw the side of him and then his foot out the side because I got room. Okay. This picture is going to be our llama stacker. And what a llama stacker is, it's a llama on the bottom and then a bunch of animals standing on top of them. So we got a llama, cheetah, bunny. Let's do a bird. And then bird, and then a mouse, and then cheese, and then a boat. Oh, big time. Let's see how many we can get all the way to the top. Okay, so I'm going to do a little bird. And so his, his, his body's going to be here and his tail's going to be behind the ear. So I'm going to do a little bird like this. Mm -hmm. And then there's going to be a beak right there. So, and we're going to have the rest of his body kind of be behind there. Oh, I like it. Let's draw a big eye. And maybe a little bit of a wing. One, two, three. And a little bit of a tummy line right here. Oh yeah. And then we've got to draw his legs all the way down to the bunny's head. There he is, standing away. Zola, what did you, what's coming out of your bird's mouth? Um, a tune? To a tune? I'm going to do a tune too. I think that's a great idea. So doing a little, little tune and maybe one more up, over, over, down. There we go. He's whistling a tune. <laughs> Are birds the happiest animals in the whole world? Yeah. So we got the Llama looking that way, got the cheetah looking this way, we got the rabbit looking straight ahead, we got the bird looking that way, and we're gonna have the mouse looking that way. So, let's draw a little nose. <laughs> what 
into these noses. I know. And then his head, let's draw the mouse head kind of big too. And, okay, let's draw the ears. Mouse ears are pretty big, right? Not that big. And the inside of the ear. And Zoli, I'm gonna have his little spots over here, or his little line. Kind of come around his nose. And draw two little eyes. Okay, so no teeth there. What should, is he gonna be standing? How should we do his body? So one hand out, another hand out, and we're gonna have his back here, and then I'm gonna draw a big foot here, and his tummy come down, and another foot on the other side. Kinda like that. Now, you did it already, a tail. You got lines on your mouse tail, right? Yeah. Should I do that? Yeah. All the way up the back. <laughs> that looks like a rat. He has a little rat I mouse. think rats are bigger than mice. Do mice have little whiskers too? I'm gonna go one, two, three, because animals have three whiskers on each side. Should I do three whiskers on the rabbit? Oh, yeah. One, two, three. One, two, three. Okay. Okay, so this is gonna be a super duper stacker. A llama super duper stacker. <laughs> okay, so let's draw the cheese. How do we draw cheese? I'm going to draw a triangle like that. Actually, that's not a triangle. <laughs> that's a rectangle. <laughs> and then I'm going to do the triangle after. So over and to the end. So that's my little piece of cheese. Then I'm going to put a bunch of little holes like Zola did in there. And you can kind of put those wherever. Mice love... Why do mice love cheese so much? I don't know. Then I'm gonna, you did your little bug over there. I'm gonna do my bug over here flying. Uh, so two big eyes <laughs> for my little bug and a little mouth and a little body. That is very big. And he's gonna have little feet like that and a couple big wings. And I'm gonna go like this, like there's a lit, like, that's where he's flying. Yeah. Oh yeah, good one. Like he's doing a super looper. If I was a bug, I'd do a super looper in the air all the time. Okay, name, write your name on it. Pop. Yep, anything else? Maybe do we want to draw some grass at the bottom? Yeah. Okay. There we go. Do we want to draw a couple little fluffs like this? Zola, is this the most amount of animals we've drawn at one time? Yeah. How many? Llama, one. Cheetah, two. Bunny, three. Bird, four. Mouse, five. Cheese. Bug, six. Six animals and some cheese. That's yeah. pretty much a whole zoo. A zoo. <laughs> awesome. And that, my friends, is a llama stacker. You start with the llama and you just keep adding animals. Um, hope you had fun. <laughs> Thanks for drawing along with us. <laughs> yep.